to know more such amazing stories from Indian history, click the bell icon and subscribe to Live History India. This stately palace built in the 18th century is not as famous as the hill palace of Tripunitura in Kochi, which is closely associated with the rulers of the princely state of Cochin. Yet, it tells the story of an important interlude in the history of the region, when a reigning king from Cochin decided to move to Trishur to consolidate his position. The ruler was King Ramavarma, more popularly known as Shaktan Tamburan, who ruled from here till 1805. At the turn of the 18th century, this region of Kerala was in a state of flux. The age-old rivalry between the Zamorans of Calicut and the Kingdom of Cochin ensured constant skirmishes and it didn't help that there were many other players in this power struggle. From powerful local Brahmins who controlled the temples and temple trusts in the area to European trading lobbies, the Portuguese, Dutch and British. It was to check the growing advances of the Zamorans of Calicut and to break the close ties they had forged with the powerful Brahmins controlling the famous temples here that Shaktan Tamburan is said to have moved his base here, living in this palace in Trishur. Once just an old palatial house, this palace was renovated by Shaktan Tamburan. The architecture here is unique. It combines both traditional Kerala and Dutch influences, as was the trend in the period. The palace, while not large, is stately. The main structure of the palace has a two-storied building and a traditional Kerala Nalaketta architectural style. It is marked out by its high roofs, thick walls and spacious, airy rooms, which now house a museum. Shaktan Tamburan's reign from here marked a turning point for the city and the kingdom of Cochin. After quelling all resistance, Shaktan Tamburan went on to develop Trishur as a centre for industry and culture. He invited groups of people from different parts of present-day Kerala and Tamil Nadu to start workshops and small businesses here. This changed the demographics of Trishur, making it more cosmopolitan and geared it up for commerce. This phase also gave birth to many industries like the gold ornament manufacturers and banks and finance companies that the city is still famous for. Also a great devotee who often visited the ancient Vadakanathan temple at the heart of Trishur, Shaktan Tamburan is credited with clearing up the forest around the temple to allow it to host the grand annual Trishur Puram celebrations where the hundreds of thousands congregate here. Shaktan Tamburan died in 1805 and the subsequent kings moved back their capital to present-day Kochi. But even today, drive through Trishur and it is difficult to miss the presence of the king who is considered the architect of the city. Trishur owes a lot to the ruler who transformed the city and made it his home. <laughs>